say to you too. Um, okay, first of all, and most importantly, I love my life. I would not trade my life for anything if I had a choice. Like if somebody offered me legs that work in exchange for my wheelchair, then I would turn it down, okay? I'm very happy in my wheelchair. I think, like, there's a million reasons why I love this life. But, um, however, <laughs> it is not always easy. And there are some really annoying things about being in a wheelchair. And so, um, I thought, well, while I'm throwing myself a pity party, I might as well invite you guys to join me. And so, um, tell me in the comments what some annoying things about being in a wheelchair are for you. Um, and I'm just going to tell you, I tried to make a list on my cell phone and, um, then I realized if I'm using the phone to make the video, it's not like I can look at my list. And so I'm just winging it, but, oh well, it was... It was like annoying to try to figure it out. Um, anyway, okay, so the first annoying thing, people, like, I I love, uh, uh, okay, people stare at you, yes, I've said that numerous times in videos. If you're in a chair, people are gonna stare. Um, I use that to, I take that to my advantage and stuff, as you guys know, but the important thing is that um, you're invisible. It's like everybody sees you, but yet at the same time, you're completely invisible. If you go to a doctor's office with a caregiver or something, often they will talk to the caregiver and not you. They will talk to, um, if you go, like not necessarily even a caregiver, just your friend, um, then they'll talk to your friend versus you. Um, it's that's okay like if you're okay with that and some people need that i get it that people need aids and stuff but sometimes you just want to talk to someone directly i do think doctors are getting good but it's weird how how people can see oh yeah there's that guy in the wheelchair you're like so they see you a lot of guys have told me guys in wheelchairs have told me that um that like women will see them they'll think he's hot or whatever but um they won't ever make a move you know they're scared to they don't see you as a viable um subject for whatever so tell me what you guys think i don't know i um I, well like i think i think that yeah i think it's really sad i mean of course there are women who can see beyond a wheelchair of course there are men who can see beyond a wheelchair um of course once people get to know you then they see beyond the wheelchair but people's initial impression is of you in the chair now in some aspects that's okay like it's good that people know not to hit you with their car or, you know to notice if you're struggling or something but it also is very I don't know, it just is what it is, I guess. But it's annoying. <laughs> um, and that's the important thing. Okay, another annoying thing is like, okay, I, today while I was making dinner, I dropped like a million things. I dropped the spatula, all this stuff. The, the part of that is because my fingers don't really work so well. But like when you drop stuff, most of it lands on your lap when you're sitting down. Like, okay, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I have burned my legs by dropping the hot stuff on them, um, or spilling hot stuff. Um, but also this is the most frequent spot I lose things. I'll be looking all over for something stupid, you know, like where did I put that thing? And then I finally find it and it's on my chair <laughs> or it's on my seat somewhere and it fell down and it's on the chassis, you know? Um, and so that is annoying. Um, another thing that's annoying is how long it takes me to do stuff. Like, it drives me crazy that sometimes when I go to the bathroom, it can take, like, literally two hours. You know, I'm lucky if I get out of there in under an hour. I feel like, ooh, that was fast, you know. <laughs> um, that is really annoying. Um, yeah, yeah, like, when, okay... I was saying that I dropped stuff on my lap, but
But also, when you drop stuff on the floor, or when I'm rolling around town and I drop stuff, it's really hard to get. Dropping stuff is hard when you're in a wheelchair, like to pick it up. I mean, it's it's easier for them than it is for a lot of people because you know people have like rods in various places. At least I still can bend. At least my fingers still feel enough. Um, but it's um, like when I I'll, I'll have to lean all the way over. So if I have something in my lap or anything, then I can't do it because like, you know, I won't have, but I'll try to angle my chair in a good place, like either right here or right back here. If I've got to go at it, like sometimes something fell off the sidewalk. Okay, and so um, I've got to get it like, okay, let's pretend this thing fell off the sidewalk. And I've got to get it, but it's if I go on the sidewalk, I'm gonna get stuck in the mud because it's been raining for a day. Um, so I know I can't do that. Then I'll do like this. You know, I can't back up any further because I'll run into the wall or a tree or whatever else is there. Um, but then I'll lean. I'll use my chair. I gotta pull my magic wand out, and then. I'll use my chair. Hold on. Hold on. I got ya. I got ya. Um, this thing, I've already, <laughs> I've already broke it, um, several times, but that's why I stuck it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so I'll go. Okay, I gotta keep. I pinched my fingers one time I was doing this, and then I pinched my finger between the frame of my wheelchair and my magic wand there or no and like the chassis of the chair or something it was a it was a big deal and then i thought i was gonna break my finger and i almost did because i accidentally pushed it um the wrong way you know and then as i was trying to do this i couldn't really i don't know i couldn't really see very well what it, i was doing and then, um, I finally got my fingers out that time, but that's how I get stuck at the laws, but it's not like super easy. And so a lot of times people will fall over and they will, um, like I'll be sitting there for like five minutes trying to get this thing that I dropped and, um, angling my chair, all that stuff. And then finally somebody falls over and they'll come running up and right about that second is when I'll finally grab it. I'm like, oh, great. You know, but what are you supposed to do? You can't stop trying if you're already like down there trying to get this and you're so close. It's like, oh, somebody's running up and helping me, you know, just so I should stop when I'm doing it. I'll just pick it up and I'll be like, I just got it. You know, things anyway. Um, that's all you can do, but it can be annoying. Sometimes, you know, you will wish helpers were to come faster, <laughs> or sometimes they come too fast. That's annoying too when people just, like, you're just trying to get your stuff done, and then they, um, well, I don't know. I don't get too annoyed with that, but uh, other people do. I know, um, you know everybody's different and so you gotta respect that and stuff and just just deal with it but tell me in the comments um what are some annoying things for you about being in a wheelchair um be sure to like comment and subscribe share all that stuff um and yeah i don't know next until next time next time i think of more on annoying things bye